Alright guys, it's the cartographer here, and today we'll be doing Riding the Line. It is described as an exhilarating sprint between life and death, but it's more accurately described as a marathon where the refreshments team throws cups of bees at you. In this challenge, it's a checkpoint challenge, and we'll have 13 seconds per checkpoint, which is pretty generous. We're not allowed to miss any checkpoints, we have to avoid all damage, and we have to kill 10 hives as we go along. It's really not too bad, quite gentle, just like the rest of these checkpoint challenges. I'll show you the way I go about doing it, and we'll get you some three stars to go home with. Alright then guys, let's crack on. Alright then guys, if you didn't enjoy the last crossbow challenge that much, you're probably not going to enjoy this crossbow challenge that much. However, you'll have had plenty of practice if you were really whiffing your bolts. What you need to be doing is making your way across the farmyard, killing um, hives as you go. You won't take damage from falling off this first roof, but this challenge absolutely loves sending you uh, up rooftops where you can take damage if you fall down. So please be careful as you're running. Look for safe ways down. You'll thank yourself later on. Try and be slightly conservative with your crossbow bolts because you can and very easily will run out. I know it's easier said than done because the <clears throat> hives are just a complete nightmare and are constantly putting pressure on you to shoot them. There is a really fiddly bit later on down the line that you'll have to sort of save your bolts for, but this first bit isn't really too bad. What you can do is use your hellfire bombs on bits where you've got a bit of running room, so that's more the starting bit and the end bit. You do also have throwing knives, that's completely pointless, just forget about them really. This roof looks like you shouldn't be able to take damage, but you absolutely will. Again, you don't have to worry too much about time, but this section is a bit where you do have to worry about time, it's very tight. What happens is you have to sort of come up here and amble your way, crouch early and get under that. Get that first shot off because if you don't get the kill there, you kind of just have to take the damage, which is not ideal. You need to be taking no damage throughout this trial. Um, you could, and probably should, stop off and pick up the bolt that you threw at that um, previous hive, but I'm being a bit a bit rushy, to be honest. I'm just trying on the time for some reason. So, as you can see, we do just have enough bolts to cover all the hives, even with a couple of double shots, but the issue is more... Um, on this trial, there are a lot of hives that will be doing damage and you need to be avoiding. You can outrun the... Um, hive swarms but it's not always the most ideal thing to do the, the running away does cause issues and sometimes you really just want to want to get them gone you know um, you're kind of just gonna have to listen for where the hives are um, they're sort of all over the shop um, which I know is not that ha helpful from memory there is one on a roof somewhere which is incredibly irritating so try and save a bolt for that but there's a small chance I may be misremembering that for a different trial. As I said this trial absolutely loves sending you off rooftops and you should always 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 take the safe option if possible. Fall off hay bales, don't fall directly from the roof to the floor, you will regret it almost every single time. Take the opportunity to jump where possible. Um, see, this is what I mean about them shooting through the um, gaps in the fence. Um, there is actually a few checkpoints that are a little bit tight for time. Um, you just need to be careful. Be careful of that window there as well, because what can sometimes happen is it can push you away and it can be a bit disorienting. Um, we're getting to a pretty reasonable point now, which is nice. I think we're just about to finish, actually, yeah. It's really not too bad of a trial, to be completely honest with you. As long as you've got a reasonable aim with the crossbow, you're fine. Um, take your time to line up your shots. There's just two really awkward bits um, where the checkpoints are a bit, a bit tight, especially with the added pressure of the hives. Use your fire bombs for sort of groups or in large open areas. The middle section is probably the worst bit. And the main thing that you probably will lose a couple of runs to is the buildings. They look like you should be able to fall them off, fall them off, fall off them with no damage, but I can promise you you can't. 
always try and land on the steps or the hay bales or something. Just take a second out of your run just to save yourself the run. All right, guys, I hope this helps you out, but overall, it's quite a nice and easy trial. My three-star run's coming up, and I'll see you soon.